Here's a nice idea for using liquid Fimo in inclusions, using the same chocolate brown mix of liquid Fimo to make mince pies. Pour a little of this mix into the glass jar. Not too much though, because we don't want a runny mix. Just about a teaspoonful should do. I'm using three colours of no hole beads, also known as accent beads. I'm using brown, black and clear and then some red beads to simulate cherries and also some semolina. I'm putting the semolina into the liquid Fimo. A little of each of the colour of beads including the larger cherry ones. The beads are made of glass so they don't burn at the low oven temperatures used for polymers and neither does semolina. Mix it really well until the beads and semolina are just coated but really really thick, not at all runny. The reason for mixing it thick is that you want to see the texture of the beads etc. They just sink into a runny mix. Apply the mix carefully into a pastry case. I'm using a wooden spatula and just pressing it in. Pat it down so that it sticks to the pastry case. Then just clean up the edges a bit. Now we're going to decorate the top. You will need a really thin strip of the pastry mix. And this little cutter is available from sugar craft shops. As with all the tiny cutters, you might need a cocktail stick to push the clay out and powdering your cutters with talc can also help release the clay. Apply them really carefully. The sticky liquid in the mix will stick the decorative elements to the pie. them down. Don't forget that these bits also need the powder colour treatment 
unless you're making the whole pie look as if it's prepared but not baked. So remember, just pick up a little bit on your brush and dab it subtly around the edges, on the ridges. On top, you'll need the slightly larger red beads to simulate three cherries and a little clear liquid Fimo will glue them to the centre of the pie. So I'm just applying these gently using cocktail sticks. First the liquid Fimo. To make individual mince pies, you'll need a muffin tray, such as this one from Country Treasures. If you have difficulty finding cutters, small offcuts of brass rod will do. The plunger types of cutters, in my opinion, are overrated and can damage the clay. You can use the end of a paintbrush to push the shapes into the muffin tray. But actually I should have powdered this with talc because it is sticking a bit. Remember, you'll only need a tiny little bit of mix to fill these. So, just the very end of your cocktail stick. I've chosen a tiny star-shaped cutter to decorate these individual pies. But any tiny shape will do. But these can be difficult to get hold of. You might find a paper punch will do the trick. This cutter is extremely short and difficult to use and actually I believe it was only designed as a doll's house accessory. I'm dressing these as not baked, so I want them to look flowery. So I'm going to use some talcum powder to brush them. Again, it needs to be subtle, so don't forget to blow off any excess. Just dab a little on. <laughs> 